In this video, we're going to be looking at the fillet and also, also the chamfer command. And notice that we're on the features tab, so this is actually a feature, and I'm no, I don't have to draw a new sketch. There is a sketch fillet, but then we're doing a feature fillet. It means we already have a piece that is extruded, and we're going to do a fillet or chamfer on that piece. So let's go ahead and, and look and see what this, uh, what this is about. I've got my block. I'm going to select fillet. And for an example, I'm going to just select this corner so you can see what it looks like. And you can see with fillet, what it, the preview showing is, and, and hopefully your value is 0.1, which is the default, is it's rounding off that corner. I'm going to hit check so you can see that because I want you to see how that looks. It makes a nice rounded corner. Now these two lines, this one and this one, those edges are corresponding to the end of the fillet. If you would rather not see them, then if you use this shaded um, view, then you don't actually see those lines. It looks a little bit more natural, but then the top looks a little funny. So personally, I end up going with the shaded with edges and keeping it that way a lot. Let's look at the chamfer on another corner. Let's do this corner right here. I'm going to select chamfer. Select that corner, and I'm going to still leave the default of 0.1. And you can see that's almost just like cuts off the corner, kind of chops it off and makes it slanted. Okay. Now, I don't know if, about you, but I've, ne I've never seen a Lego block look exactly like that. So that's not exactly what we're going to do. I just wanted to show it to you. We are going to perform a chamfer. So I'm going to undo this chamfer, and I'm going to undo this fillet. And now I'm back to normal, and I'm ready to actually do the one that I need to do. I'm going to choose fill it on this. I'm going to do the rounded radius curved. And I'm going to choose the top edge of our little cylinder. I'm going to just keep going down the line. And let's say you did one wrong. Let's say you, got, you did that by accident. It's like I messed that up. So you can just click it again, put it at the correct place. Just go down the line and get all eight of these. And now I do have full preview selected. But where's that yellow line at? Well, the, the problem is your radius of 0.1 is too big for this small of a part. So we're going to be using a, a radius of 0 0.01. And I'm going to click right here in this area to preview. Now we can see, since I have the pull, full preview button selected, you can see the preview and see what that would look like. And hit check. So what this is going to allow the, to do is when these eight small cylinders push into the bottom of the next block they'll create a friction fit but the the little radius fillet allows it to go in smooth and easy so that's that's the whole point of why we did that that's we're trying to let, make the lego block look very accurate okay see you next video